What's up, Zombie Slayers? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. I've just been spending a bit of the morning getting some iron. I got about almost a stack and a half. Not too bad. It goes pretty quick with the auger. Um, we are going to be doing some steel work today. Okay, I'm going to be stealing up everything and probably adding some more to the base. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, number one concern today is steel. Uh, adding on to the base will be separate. We are going to be doing some work on the horde base. It's going to be great. And I think 58 minutes looks pretty good right about there. And what do we need more? Steel or ammo? I know we need dart traps, but I think we're going to go with steel for right now. Because steel takes longer, you know, and uh, I think it's going to be more important at the moment. Alright, so what am I going to bring with me? Alright, so let's take a look in our building stuff chest. And take that, and that, and nothing there. Tools. Alright, I don't remember what I left there. That's a part of the problem. I have a lot of stuff there, and I have a lot of stuff here, and I don't remember what's where. So I'm going to bring these two just in case, because I know I, I'm going to need those. I'm pretty sure they're there, but just in case. And we will also bring... Uh, you know what? I think that's pretty good. I'm probably going to end up forgetting something anyway, but it's all good. I did have some screamers while I was mining. Um, I actually have another, like, ore mine, because there's not a lot of iron uh, below my base. Um, so there's an iron mine out over here. I just went through the first stack of iron I saw, and eventually I'll kind of hook that iron mine up to my base, and they'll be connected. It'll be pretty cool. All right, so let's get to the base. And um, like I said, we we might not get demolishers on 35. If we do, we'll probably only get like one or two. But still, there's no point in not stealing this uh, this base up. Why why wait? Right? I mean, that's that's my motto. So let's. Oh, we also need to make a proper entrance. Son of a bitch! I'm not doing that today. I'm not doing that today. I I honestly don't want to, but I really should. I have to make a proper entrance. The proper entrance will basically be probably right about. I don't know. I guess right about here, and it'll just be a tunnel. Going right into the base. Actually, you know what I should do? I should put a drawbridge here that can open. I wonder if you could still do that. There used to be a way to have a drawbridge and it could like open up and like open up like a ramp. Uh, basically, the drawbridge would be closed. It would be down. And then when it opens up, there's like a little ramp passage you could go down there. So I should definitely do that. Um, but not today. Um, you know what? I can probably make one pretty quickly if I just do it like simple. Like, right here. Um, do you think that'll work? Alright, never mind. I'm not gonna work. I'm not gonna deal with that right now. That's not what I'm... That's not what I'm here to do today. We gotta stay focused. So, we'll just uh, make a temporary walkway up there. And I think that'll be a good one right there. But, yeah, someone was saying in the comments, you really need to have a proper entrance. Because when you fell, you know, it could have gone very badly for you. And that is very true. It could have gone very badly for me when I fell, and I had no way to get back up there. So, it's a bit of an issue. Okay. Here we are. That's off. Alright, so let's see how much steel we have up here. Um, oh boy, we, we do have a lot of steel. That'll probably be the last thing to steal off to make for a while. The ones that I just set up. Yeah, that's freaking dope. Hell yeah. Alright, well, let's go, let's go steal it up. Alright, and we will just start from this end. Honestly, I kind of like the idea of just having only one pressure plate for the dart traps. It was pretty much on most of the night anyway. You know? And the darts are going to run out before, you know, the zombies do, so. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do this. Check out the experience, man. Oh, I'm going to need concrete to repair. Yeah, the experience is going to be through the roof. Um, oh, by the way, uh, when I brought down the pathway up there... I kind of like where it is a lot more right now because um, I'm going to eventually make a door right here. So, because the thing is, if the, if the zombies get through everything and they come over here and they start beating on this, now there's no damage being done to them unless the damage I do, right? But if you can get them to stop right here to beat on a door, then they're going to be hit with the dart traps, they're going to be hit with the blade traps, and that will be pretty dope. So, uh, yeah, that is something I do plan on doing at some point. Also, let's grab some shotgun shells. There we go. I don't feel right not having shotgun shells on me. Okay. So, let's... Uh, what do we need? We need concrete. That's right. That's what stopped us in our tracks. Not, oh! 
Oh, okay. I thought I left concrete here. I guess not. Oh, boy. I'm going to have to go in and get some concrete. Okay, now I'm loaded up. Pretty decent amount of concrete. Especially considering I'm only going to need it for repairs. Okay. I'll hit those from underneath. Okay. Yeah, it's looking good. Kind of wish those things were going the other way. I could always paint them, though. If I want the, uh, the steel to go in the other way. But it works for me. Yeah, like that. Like going with the with the grain. We'll steal that up. We'll steal that up. Steal that. Steal. 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 And then we just got to hit these up from underneath. So we should probably do this as well. Why not? Come on. That's right. Look at that experience roll in, boy. Yeah, the corners look different than the, the non-corners. Still looks good, though. I love the look of steel. Now, steel has more hit points than concrete. I think steel is, what, 10,000 hit points? But it's not only the hit points, guys. This is one thing that I always forget... And I'm going to mention it to you guys because it's important. Um, steel not only has those extra hit points, but... Ooh. Okay, I might want to steal these up as well. Uh, steel also has a natural resistance to explosion, right? I have that right. People in the comments, let me know if I'm wrong about that. Uh, but yeah, I think steel has like some kind of natural explosion resistance to it. Damn, I used up all the steel already? Oh boy, I didn't think it would go that quick. Oh. We didn't even finish all the... Uh, things down here oh boy yeah that's not good damn all right well we just got to keep mining oh man that's, that's gonna be uh it's gonna be something i thought i thought i would add a good amount of steel there but apparently not all right well it is what it is easy come easy go right right guys that's right all right so let's go ahead and make a bunch of Bars, uh, centered. That's too many. Uh, let's go with 25 for now. And let's start on, let's start making our walkway, or continue with our walkway, uh, path here for the wooden bars. Now, someone, a couple people had a really good idea that I didn't think about. I'm gonna stick with my idea, just because it's kind of like, I thought of it myself, kind of makes me a little proud there. Um, but what you could do is, you could, you could make this walkway directly over uh, the things you're trying to repair, whatever that may be, uh, in this case, electric fence, and you use arrow slits as the floor. Yeah, yeah, that's probably the better solution, but I think my solution is going to be pretty cool too. Uh, if not a little more expensive, well, I don't even know if it's going to be more expensive, to be honest, but all right, so what do I need for up there? I need the bars and I need the concrete, or not the concrete, I need the, um, I need the cobblestone. The thing I hate about cobblestone is when you turn it into a different, like, when you turn cobblestone or anything into a different, like, shape, I have trouble finding I don't think I have any. Did I use it all? What did I do with all my cobblestone? So I'll tell you exactly what happened to my flagstone or cobblestone, whatever you want to call it. It's technically flagstone, but I think of it as cobblestone because I never really leave it as flagstone. Anyway, um, yeah, I brought it back to base and I put it in my drop chest. I also had a good amount more steel back at the base. So we're going to be able to do a little bit more steel. And I really want to get these, like, legs to be uh, totally steel. So there we go with that. I wonder if these were attacked at all. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. They'd have to break down a few of them, though, because it's like a solid wall. I mean, honestly, they could break down, like, f three of these. And it would still hold up. The as long as they didn't break out the top, it would still hold up. So not really that big of a deal. Okay, here we go. Okay. You are looking good, my friend. We should probably steal you up as well. A lot of stuff relying on you staying up. And same thing with you. Great, I can't upgrade the block on the inside. But that's okay. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. Let's go ahead and solidify this as well. Okay. And I think we're looking pretty good. Now we will come up here. 
And we will continue building our repair platform. Yeah, I guess I'll call it a repair platform. Can't think of a better term for it. My repair platform. My repair platform. Yeah, it would be so much easier to just put down the arrow slits. Maybe I should go with the arrow slits. So, I, so what? I didn't think of it. You know? Does it really matter? Uh, I don't think you could do... I don't think you could do um, arrow slits with these. No, no, definitely not. Okay, so if I do arrow slits... I don't know. Maybe I should... You know what? To hell with it. Let's do the arrow slits. It's a good idea. And you know what? You guys are awesome. I'm gonna use it. Alright. Let's do that. Let's do that. Put that down there. And on face. That doesn't work either. Alright, how about this? Alright. On face. Nope. On face. There we go. Nailed it. Let's get these back. And then we do copyright. Uh, Got to point it. There we go. Copy rotation. Okay. Now let's shoot these suckers. And see if we could repair them. Repair that. Alright. Yep. Piece of cake. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay, yeah. This is the way to go. Thank you, guys. That was a great idea. Great idea as usual. Alright. And then we'll put a full block on the other side. Like so. Now, what should we make when? What should we put up here as walls? It would probably be advantageous for us to be able to shoot down at the enemy. Uh, so iron bars? I don't know. Like being able to shoot down at the enemy from up here would be a good idea. So, should we do bars? I think we could do bars. I think that'd be pretty cool. And do we want to keep that that high? Yeah, sure, why not? So we are gonna have to, um, alright. Uh, do I have the, I have the bars on me. Usually what I do is I put down wooden bars and I upgrade them. Because it's a pain in the ass to break out iron bars if you place them wrong. You know, oh, just place them right. Yeah, I know. Uh, oh no! These are garbage. Scrap. We need regular, regular ones. All right, fair enough. 25. So, for maximum stability... Nah, who am I kidding? It's not for maximum stability. This is for uh, symmetrical reasons. Um, I put a stabilizing thing on this side as well. Uh, the only thing that kind of makes this a little tough is if I have to hook up those electric fence again. But uh, I'll worry about that if, if the time ever comes. Let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit. There we go. Is this my my pick? Yeah, it is. Okay. I put a freaking burning mod on my pick. Really? That's unlike me. I usually hate that mod. Alright. So that's looking a little bit better. Gives them less headway. That's always good. They shouldn't attack it. They should come in here with this headway. No problem. Alright. I like it. Is it going to work? I don't know. I don't care. I'm upgrading it. Actually, why upgrade it right now? Because you know what the thing is? Someone someone watching the video right now could be like, Cage, there is an incredible flaw in your design. And if you don't fix it, it's going to be a big problem. And yeah, uh, why upgrade it when I don't need to? I'll upgrade it before Horde Night if no one tells me different. But for now, I think we'll just leave it the way it is. Okay, so that means we got to put another one up here. Like that. I don't know how this happened. <laughs> this thing's gotta go. Okay. And I do like where this is. This goes up like that. This goes up like that. 
Very good. Uh, I'm not really worried about vultures, so the roof can stay the way it is. And... Uh, this, yeah, this could be... Um, this one... You know, we should probably go out one more spot. One more spot. So... Copy shape. Copy rotation. And try not to fall. There we go. Uh, copy shape. Wait. Copy shape? No, that's simple. There we go. Okay. And now we will place down the bars. Uh, I guess I was in the way. Alright. And, nope, not like that. There we go. See? If that was a metal bar, that would have really sucked. Now, do I want to put bars on the other side? I technically don't need them on the other side, but I th again, sure, why not? Okay, and a few more. Go to another 12. These are a little tricky because they're red because I'm standing in the way. I'm always in the freaking way. Uh, now, should we just put bars the whole way? Sure. I don't, it's fine. Yeah, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Uh, another 12, please. Uh, the problem is I can't put it... Yeah. What we'll do is we will put... This back right here. And here. And then we'll break through right in the middle. So it's properly in the middle. And we'll put a little ramp going down. Maybe stairs. Stairs will be cooler. Yeah. Uh, what are stairs called? Catwalks. Down out of there. Finish these up. Now they can now they, they can jump up right here. So I think we'll put these here as well. Yeah, I'm gonna need more of these bars. I don't know why I kept making 12 at a time. Just make freaking 25. It's just wood. I've got chainsaws coming out of my ass. Come on. Now this is a this is going to extend out farther because I'm gonna have more electric fence as we go along. That's why I'm kind of leaving this. Kind of open-ended, but it also needs to be defended. Open-ended and defended. So let's go ahead and put these up like that. And... I guess... Oh, the bars are in the way. Crap, I didn't even think about that. So I can't even, like, close this up. Alright, yeah, the bars gotta go. At least on the outside. Because I want to close this up properly. So break those out. I should be able to reach that last one. From here. And honestly if I can't. It's not the end of the world. Because like I said. We will be extending this out. This is a very temporary. Actually I'll probably just leave that open like that. Looks pretty dope. And. And I can still reach the last one. Beautiful. Okay, we'll go to cobblestone with this. No farther, though. Actually, you know what? Maybe I won't go to cobblestone. I'll leave that at cobblestone, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave the other, other stuff. Because if there's a glaring problem with this, and someone lets me know in the comments, you know, I don't want to have to break down cobblestone, uh, cobblestone right? Uh, shape, and... Looks good to me. Alright, now we just need some lights up here. I don't think I have a lot of lights. Um, ooh, I thought I had some, I thought I had one light at least. Alright. 
So one thing I noticed about the Horde Knight that I really didn't like is that when I fell down, it you couldn't really see much. And the reason you couldn't see much was... Oh, can, can zombies jump up here? They might be able to. I should probably build this up as well. Anyway, the reason you couldn't see much is very simple. It's because uh, I, I had the game dark. And, like, I, leave the game, I, tr I was leaving the game dark because I wanted it to be, like, atmospheric, you know? Like, um, just, I don't know, atmospheric. I wanted it to be uh, scary. So... I left the game. I left the game dark, and but then when I fell down, you guys couldn't really see much. Although nobody complained about it, so it was probably just me. But I'm very, um, I'm very careful with not making dark videos. You guys, you guys are aware of this. All right. So can spider zombies jump up there? I don't think they can, but I don't know for sure. All right. You know what? Let's make an entrance. Let's make an entrance. It's going to be um, a very temporary entrance. But it'll be good enough for now. Like I said, a, a, eventually when I make a real entrance, it's going to be pretty far away. And I would like a way to get my motorcycle down in there. Although I guess it really doesn't matter. But I would like a way to get my motorcycle down in there um, with the entrance I'm planning. But for now, we could just go along with, uh, I guess, right here. Right in the middle. Yep. Let's just do an entrance right here. Very unbelievably basic type of entrance. Okay, so we'll dig that out, then we'll dig this, and we'll put down some more support, like, some more support down here, because, um, if, like, if I get caught out again, and the zombies are following me, they're gonna run down here to get to me, so I would like some solidification down here, so, you know, um, structural integrity does not become an issue, so we'll do this, and then this, Okay, and then we just dig out one spot, and then that's it. Very basic entrance. And then we don't have to worry about, you know, nerd pulling up there anymore, and everything will be good. So we'll go one more. And then we'll go one more this way. Oops, didn't want to go that far, but that's okay. Well, no, nah, that's too far, but that's all right, whatever. It's all good. Right, and just to have this be somewhat symmetrical up here, I'll make a, I'll do the corners too. And um, I, they shouldn't see this as a way to get to me because they they won't be able to use the ladder or like with the hatch. So like if they come in here, they won't be able to use the ladder with the hatch. So they really should not see this as a way to get to me. Like they can get here, but they won't use that ladder. Okay. And even, and even if they could use the ladder, they got a hatch up there. I don't think they can attack up. I've had zombies get in here during Horde Night, and they never once tried to get to me. So I'm going to assume that that is, um, that's just the way it is. So let's go ahead, and that's not what I wanted to do, but that's okay. Put that around like that. And then I'm going to brighten it up for you peeps. Just talk about dark videos. Ain't happening. Ain't happening on this channel. Right, and there we go. We also need some ladders. How many think it would take? Four? Sure. Oh, I need to be in a thing. Never mind. The hell with it. Um, yeah, I would need to. I need to make those in a in a workbench. Okay. It's looking good. That's looking good. Put this there, 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 and there. Eventually, this whole thing's just gonna be concrete everywhere. Even for the floor. Man, I don't have room for jack shit. Put this up here. Hopefully they won't see these ladders as a way to, to go. I, I never remember how like far the ladders have to be off the ground. I think it has to be two spots, but I don't know. Whatever. I can get up two spots. So maybe I should try and break those off and only use one. Yep. See, I can get up two. I don't think they can. Oh, that could be mistaken. And even if they can't, they could like bounce on each other's heads and maybe get up there eventually. But I don't think that's going to be of utmost concern. I can't upgrade those. That's okay. I'll do it later. 
All right, and I have some hatches around here somewhere. There they are. And then you will go like that. And I will upgrade you. All right, and I go down here. Close that up. Come over here. And there is my very, very basic first entrance. You know, that's not really that cool, but it's efficient and it will get the job done. That is awesome. So let's say I'm out here on Horde Night and I'm like, kapow, kapow, kapow. And I'm like, oh my god, I fell and I don't have any way to get back up. Well, that's not going to be a problem this time. Oh, loot? Is that... Could that have been there from Horde Night? I have a feeling a zombie came in and, like, walked into stuff. Something. Yeah. I don't think that could have been Horde I guess it could have been. That's a... Horde Night was a while ago, man. It was like days ago. No, that's not from Horde Night. No way. No freaking way. No freaking way, bro. Okay, you're gone. And you're gone. And we are a lot stronger than we were before. So I fall down... And I've got a way to get back up. I don't even have to close that behind me. I mean, I can if I want to, but... Oh, see, that's gonna... I can't be trying to jump up that on Horde Night. Like, oh, I get down here. I should leave it open on the inside, probably. Anyway, that's, here, that's neither here nor there. All right, guys. I do think I'm gonna call this one here. Um, again, if you see any flaws with the repair catwalk... Walkway? Catwalk? I don't know what you'd call this. If you, see any, if you see any flaws with this, let me know. If not, I will be upgrading it in a few episodes. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.